Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing. But you guys know what time it is. You guys are looking at the title. We're going to be discussing none other than Floki itself. See what is happening and of course what we could be expecting as we go further into this upcoming you know, week ahead of us. You know, as far as um, the overall market goes, you know, we did see a little bit of a pullback, you know, for the majority of the altcoins, as you can pretty much see. Reason as to why this was the case, uh, because of course, you know, we did see a double retest at its all-time high, and you know that was was a little bit of a rejection um, and obviously you know we're seeing a little bit of a minor pullback but you know remember on the weekends we do tend to see CME futures um, you know close so you know we do tend to see more manipulation um, due to that but despite that fact you know the market has held quite well uh, believe it or not but you know if you're looking at Floki in terms of meme coins it's absolutely killing it right now up 12.5 percent right now as of recording this update and if we're looking at the price still about three zeros in front of the price currently sitting at 26.9 up 12.3% in Bitcoin, USD, and Ethereum comparative. A market cap, on the other hand, is above $2.5 billion mark, and the 24-hour trading volume currently sitting at $1.5 billion. So, so far, so good. In terms of meme coins right now, if you're really looking at, you know, the top meme coins in terms of the entire market cap, uh, we're seeing uh, about $60 million in terms of, uh, you know, the... I'm sorry, 60 billion in terms of the market cap for all the meme coins combined. But that's not what I'm trying to focus on. What I'm trying to focus on and what I'm trying to show you guys is that you know, if you're looking at um, all the meme coins, you know, you're seeing pretty much all the meme coins right now, especially the big ones, um, you know, in the top 100. Uh, they're down right now in the last 24 hours. But, you know, if you're looking at Floki, it's the only coin that is in the top 100. That's up about 12.3 percent. So definitely the momentum is on its side right now and could we see a push towards an all-time high that's what we're going to be discussing so sit back relax and enjoy the show now before i do get into it as always just a quick disclaimer anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrency so what we're going to start off by looking at of course is the bitcoin dominance index so if you're looking at the bitcoin dominance index you know this right here is the hourly you know we could kind of see as to what is happening with the bitcoin dominance over the past you know few days you can pretty much see this for yourself bitcoin dominance shot up all the way up to 55 percent on march 4th and right now we're currently sitting at 53.65 uh, percent which is really nice to see of course uh, but you know that is that in terms of uh, what's happening with the bitcoin dominance uh, but now if we're looking at btc this is what i want you guys to focus on you know if you're looking at bitcoin right now let me zoom in for you guys so we did see a two um you know, double top retest at its all time high. You heard that correct. We saw a double retest and obviously, um, you know, both times are rejection. Again, not a surprise because, you know, this does tend to happen, especially when you are dealing with key resistance levels. And in this case, you know, this is a key resistance level uh, for, um, you know, Bitcoin, because obviously if it goes past that, you know, we're talking about all time highs uh, for the price of a Bitcoin. So, you know, so far so good, uh, you know, because we did see the daily candle closing at 68000 $1,600 mark and that is something that you don't want to uh, forget as well when you are analyzing the chart so that's that you know in terms of Bitcoin I think we could see more upside as we do approach this upcoming week considering how well you know the price of Bitcoin held um, throughout this uh, weekend but you know with that said let's take a look at our good old friend of Floki right now because what Floki also has done in the past few hours is worthwhile noting and this could help it push towards a new all-time high which we haven't seen since all the way back on to be exact if you want to know the date we're looking at november 4th of 2021 so you can clearly see this is more than two years ago and obviously at that time that was you know it's all time high so where do we see um you know floki going in the upcoming days ahead of us because what floki has done in the last few hours is the fact that it was able to close in the 23.6 fibonacci retracement level a level we haven't seen like i said since you know it's all time high pretty much so you know we did see floki go all the way up to the 2932 zone obviously seeing a little bit of a minor pullback but the fact that you know that exact same resistance wow i said this is wow that's insane you know uh basically that resistance at the 23.6 has turned into support and you know the price is bouncing back and forth at that range right now so you know let's shift our focus towards the hourly time frame and see what exactly is going on look at this chart on the hourly time frame guys you know this chart is looking really really nice and 
you can pretty much see this for yourself. Um, just um, yesterday, we did see a retest into the 23.6 Fibonacci retracement level. And again, you know, this rejection was not a surprise. This initial retest happened after two plus years. And of course, you know, this is a massive resistance and, you know, these types of move can be expected. And you can pretty much see this for yourself. We saw a pullback of about 20% after retesting that resistance. But shortly after that, if you picked up some, um, you know, Floki at that point, it hit a new yearly high at 30 four point a seven four percent move from that you know point so this is absolutely insane and obviously what you're starting to see on the hourly time frame is higher highs higher lows so definitely an upwards trajectory you know if you know technical analysis you guys know you know this is a basic rule um you know higher high higher low you know that kind of gives you the trend uh what trend the overall you know stock or whatever um you know currency you're looking at is in and in this case you're definitely seeing the momentum still carrying on and the reason as to why you know floki has a lot of momentum right now to be specific is because of the fact that you know this is a coin that's reaching all-time highs so you know the fomo factor um so what exactly caused this as i've said to you guys in my past updates you know of course uh, people are reminiscing uh, the previous bull cycle not only that there's a lot of other additional factors that go into it as well such as um you know fomo you know fomo definitely is being felt um especially with folk we're talking about an insane insane rally over the past just few days so you want to put this into perspective from february 28th you are up if you picked it up around that range 600 percent this is insane types of move and now the fact that you know it's in the 23.6 fibonacci retracement level you guys know how i treat the 23.6 fibonacci retracement level as long as the price is bouncing back and forth in this red zone you know we could hit all-time highs anytime soon and you know speaking about an all-time high for floki if you really want to put that into perspective you know it's only a move of about 30 percent and honestly i think this has a lot of room still left a lot of steam within itself right now because of course the fact that it is in the 23.6 fibonacci retracement level just due to that factor alone i think uh you know maybe the whales or massive exchanges you know can push this um going uh, towards the upside towards an all-time high and you know we could see this thing entering up, you know, at Pepe's market cap even, or yeah, I would not be surprised, uh, you know, what we have seen, um, you know, recently with Pepe uh, happen with Floki because of the momentum that it has. A lot of Asian, uh, you know, money coming in in terms of the Asian market. Um, you know, if you watch my previous update, you know, the massive exchanges, um, you know, in the Asian market are really picking up Floki a lot. So could this be manipulation? Definitely. But uh, manipulation does not generally mean a negative thing. You know, it can turn the overall uh, sentiment around. And that's what we're seeing happen right now with Logie. So, so far, so good. Now, uh, do definitely have, if you um, are one of the holders and did get into Floki early on, what I would strongly, strongly recommend you guys doing is increasing your, uh, you know, stop loss. Definitely have those in place, especially when a project like this moves up uh, this fast. You know, if you want to continuously um, increase your gains, um, if you think it's going to continue to go up, but don't want to uh, lose your profit, stop losses are very, very important. So that's what I would recommend you guys doing. But if the the price is able to stay within this range within the 23.6 fib zone and if it's able to cross this 29 126 um you know resistance i think we could see a new all-time high but that is it for today's update thank you so so much for all your support we'll see you tomorrow it's been crypto zx and peace out